today guys, Bing here. Um, today let's talk about <coughs> excuse me. Today let's talk about a window door tag and schedule. Okay, so let's start. So first um, let's create a project. Okay, so WA let's model some more and of course doors DR Windows WN. Okay, so um, actually you, you can see when I place the window, it will automatically uh, place a tag with it. So this is because of this. Okay, so and if you have this off, you won't have a tag with it. Same, same to door, I believe. If you place a door, if you click on this, every time you place a door, it will create a tag for you. Okay, so now let's talk about tag. Okay, so these are window tags. So they are just uh, the default um, window tag in this architecture um, template. And these are door tag. And normally uh, for doors, door, door tags and the window tags, we, we always want to sh them to show a uh, mark. So if you click on the window, and you will find um, where the mark here. So this is a uh, window, window one. So it will show one. And also you can talk, change this one. So sometimes you will call it uh, W uh, W O one, for example, and then it will show this. So to and um, you can change the the um, this tag. So for example, if I want to use W one. It won't fit in this uh, uh, tag. So what we're going to do? So is we're going to edit this tag. Okay. So select this tag, edit family. So here you will see this is the shape of that the tag, and this is the label. Yeah. So label um, label is not text. So if you create, you will find that's one label and a text. So text is a fixed, a fixed um, text. So you you can just add a text here, and it won't change when you place it in the project. But label, label is um, so. For example, I'll edit label. So you will see here I'm using this parameter mark parameter. Okay. So you can also um, add multiple. Uh, parameter to it. So, for example, this is a window tag. So, in in case you want to uh, this tag to show the window, uh, the size of the window, you can go find here. So, find. So, this is a category because this is a window tag. It is for the window category, and you will find the width of window. And so, for, uh, let let me just add this to it. So here you will see that's a that's a break that's a break here, which means if if if, if you check this one, it will um, break these two, so it become so it, I'll show you if you uncheck this one, click OK, you will and then drag this out, you will see these two parameters just continue um, on one line, okay? So and if you go oh sorry wrong one. If you edit label and check this break, and you will see it will go uh, break these two. So in one, uh, the the change the 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 line. Okay, so edit label, and also we can. Um, so this is width. So in case we want to add the the height as well, so just go find the height. Go add. And for this one, I'm going to do what I'm going to do is I'm going to use these two. So, um, so currently it's an inch, um, a foot and inch. I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll, I'll just so these don't worry too much about this because this is this uh, is only a sample. You can type in whatever you like, and it won't affect. Um, uh, this tag when you use it in the project. 
Okay, so here, so for example, I'll just type in maybe a uh, width 1200. Okay, so and you can you can use so for example, I'll use x or you can use the uh, multiply, but actually I think x works better. And then uh, this will be the height, or maybe I'll just 1200 maybe uh, w times um, maybe 900 h and let's have a look so apply and um, looks like we need a space here so let's try again apply yeah it looks better so um, I think that's it so this is a tag which uh, will show the, win the width and the height of the window okay so and of course this will not you know um let me just have a look at the tag actually it's country three mail that's too big okay so uh what i'm going to do is i'll just edit type duplicate i'll maybe create a smaller one maybe two mail two mail okay so click ok and change this to two and and um um, I think that's okay. Maybe I'll type a uh, 0.8 width. Click OK. So yeah, I think that's better. And then um, if you don't need this, you can just either uh, check the uncheck this visible, or you can just delete them. So now this is a window tag which will show the mark as well as the width and the height of the window. Okay, so let's try this. So load this into the project. Override. So now you will see um, window. So this is window W01, window number two. So, so you can just to change. You can you can click on this tag to change the, the the mark, or you can you can do it here. So so for example W02, it will change it. You can also go to the window. Under the mark parameter, you can type it there. So W03, so like this. And then when you change the type, so for example, I'll change this for a window. I'll use a different uh, different size, so 600 by 600. You will also uh, change this. Okay, so looks like uh, the view range is not cutting the window, so that's okay. So we can uh, you can usually um, the you can use the plan region to to change the view the the, the uh, view range setting. I'm not sure. Maybe try 900. Yeah. So okay. So um, yeah. And if you want to add some uh, that millimeter mm, so you can go edit family. So uh, let's go edit label. Let's have a look of this. Okay, so let's have a look at this. So see if so. This is the um, I think this is a, the unit. So if you uncheck this one, you will be able to change all everything here. So so you can add mm. Um, that's that's all good. That's all good. So click OK and click uh, OK. Oh, hang on, it doesn't work. <laughs> Let's have a look again. So um, looks like mm. It's not showing mm here. Mm. Oh, yeah. So because uh, sorry, because these are just uh, sample, it won't show it here. So we can only test it uh, after we load them into the project. Okay. So that's all good, and also the height. Let's change this millimeter. That's all good. All good. Add a symbol and OK and OK. So you won't see any difference here, but once you load this into the project, it becomes different. Oh, looks like uh, yeah, we need to remove that view there. So let's sorry, let's go back again. Oops, wrong one again. So edit family, select this uh, label, edit label, select this parameter. So edit unit full format. So change this to zero and OK. And also this one, 
change this to zero and okay so load this back all right yeah that's better okay so this is window tag okay so now let's try uh, we can do it do the same to the door tag as well so so for example you can go edit family you can you can you can remove remove these lines if you want to you can change the change the uh, change the, the size of this text create a new type of this text and change the size click OK and also uh, hang on, let me just check, make it um, 0 0.8 yeah narrower so and also you can edit label you can so this is a default mark and you can if you want to you can also add um, um, width maybe let's just add a width I'll just break break them um, maybe I'll just uh, type 900 mil so this is for sample okay so don't worry too much about this but just go edit so the, the unit format I'm going to use a millimeter as well and then zero this decimal uh, places and I'll use the NM uh, symbol as well you know click OK OK so now this is uh, um, this is a, a door tag which will show the mark and as well as the width of the door so if I load this into the project and click OK override so you will see this is off actually you can see that the mark the, uh, the, the 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 symbol of the the unit symbols down there it is because if you edit this family so you just need to select this select this label and drag this okay so drag this to make it wider okay so now if you load this back into the project and then that's it so now this is door tag uh, with um, uh, with the mark you can you can change you can change the mark here okay or you can change the mark here so and um, let's, let's just tag this okay so it looks like uh, we need to so this is the let's just uncheck the leader tag the window and of course we want these tags parallel to to the the window so what can we do it so how can we do it so you will see currently uh, you need to manually change this but sometimes when you have a wall a diagonal uh, wall and if if you place a window there and you tag a window so you probably want the tag to align with the window so let's have a look and see how we can do it so edit family and and let's have a look of here so if you go so this is uh, under property so you will see this rotate with component so currently it's not checked okay so if you check this one and load this back into the project and it will override and then you will see this will match the window okay um, and also let me just try again so tag this window and you will see this the tag will automatically placed here um, but it maybe it's it's better to you know move up so something like this okay so how can we do it so it's very easy it's just edit family so and here you can't see anything except this label so you just need to double uh, uh, sorry uh, type VV and go to an annotate category and check the reference plan okay and click OK so now you will see this these are the reference plan so this is uh, the horizontal vertical so this is the center so when you place this will be placed um, real, uh, center to uh, these two reference plan so you just need to select this label and you just move it up so roughly uh, imagine your windows here okay 
so I think roughly here so that would be all good now if you load to project I'll click OK and I'll overwrite um, let's just try again because these windows uh, these tags being uh, is not in the original uh, location so let's select all I'll delete all of them so okay so let's tag TG tag window so see when I place a tag yeah exactly uh, the in the in the um, location um, in the in the correct location or in the expected so yeah still some you will see still you probably still need to adjust them but at least it, they will align to each other so it's quite yeah I think it's all good oops all good okay so um, okay what else um, okay so this is window tag and the door tag okay so now uh, so once we finish the the windows and doors and maybe we need a a schedule for all of them so you can go to view schedule so click on this and go to the so let's first go to window category and um, yeah and you can create or oh, actually in the if yeah there are already door schedule and the window schedule in this uh, template so you can just use them so if we go to window schedules this is this is one of um, window schedule so that's mark you can have all these information so I think these are uh, okay location I think location will be um, uh, I forgot what's location for oh, let's have a look in the, the floor plan so if I click on the window and where's my location are oh, here okay looks like the location are uh, just a text you can type in whatever you like okay so yeah same as this remarks same so it's all text parameter instance text parameter you can just type in and then you can just um, you can either uh, you can use filter you can use sort you, you can use these parameter to sort to create some uh, Oh, sorry, Windows schedule. Yep. So, yeah, they are all text, and only these width and height they are automatic. They will pick though. They will get those information from the family. So, which is so if you select window and go to edit type. So, this is the width and this is the height. Okay. So, and also everything here, all all the parameter here, you can add. You can add them into the schedule. Okay, so um, yeah, I think that's it. Um, let's go back to, and also another thing is, so I'll just close this, close, close this one, and close this one. So if you uh, type WK, this is quite useful. So sometimes when you have a big project and you don't know which, uh, what, 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 which one which window is uh, window number four so you just need to click on here and in the floor plan it will show you okay it will tell you where it is and you can mult select multiple uh, in the schedule and then if you go back to the floor plan it will have uh, you will have all these windows selected um, I think that's it. Um, yeah, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.